Hey guys, if you don't already know who I am, my name is Dylan Owens and I'm a professional graffiti and comic book artist. And this is a Kickstarter campaign for the world's first spray painting comic book, The Faceless. Now, I wanted to talk to you personally instead of doing some extravagant animated video, which was the original plan, because I feel like this is more personal and lets you kind of understand what this entire series is about. So as I stated before, I'm the first comic book artist ever to work with spray paint as my main medium, uh, making this the first spray painted comic book. Because of my roots, it kind of had to be very uh, hardcore and very rebellious. And of course, the occasional superpower. And to fill you guys in on those roots a little bit, uh, I've been a professional spray paint artist for about five years now, working for, uh, you know, Philip Anthony Rodriguez on his Star Wars Rebels character, and a lot of people like that, uh, attending numerous cons uh, across the U.S., uh, selling my uh, graffiti canvases worldwide. And since I go to Comic-Con a lot, um, I interact with a lot of other comic book artists. And while I've been drawing since, you know, I, w I came out the womb drawing pretty much. Yeah, that was gross. Uh, I wanted to kind of put all of these things together and while I can pencil, I wanted to not only pencil on a comic book, but I wanted to create uh, this, which is the world's first spray painted comic. And it took a few years because it's, since it's the first ever, it's kind of like I don't have anybody kind of to go off of, so I had to create a way to make this happen on my own because uh if you don't know spray paint takes uh you can't be very detailed with it so you know i had to quadruple the size and uh write the story pencil it spray paint it <clears throat> and then it finally came to me um a while back that I needed to do the faceless. Now this story is very punk inspired, but I'm also a little bit of a metalhead. No, that's that's all I am a huge metalhead. So I wanted it to be not only um not only have a really like strong valid point, I wanted it to be as to the point and um realistically uh, brutal as possible because that's kind of how life is and this comic is really focused on real life and people that are struggling here in America and all over the world which is why each issue is going to deal with a specific topic or issue um, so down the road we're dealing with racism LGBTQ homeless people um, women's rights uh, help for the mentally ill, help for veterans, you know, everybody that we can think of to help. And because of that, a portion of every comic book sale will go to a charity um, for the corresponding topic. So if we're dealing with racism, maybe uh, donate to NAACP, Black Lives Matter, any sort of civil rights group. Um, and I just... Like everybody, I want to help make this world change for the better. And this is how I want to do it. Because comic books, uh, growing up, they really spoke to me. Um, it really made me connect with somebody. And that's what I hope to do here. Which, you know, I connected with uh, Moon Knight, Morbius, uh, Thor. And these writers and artists spoke to me in a way that changed my life um and i also grew up as a skater so obviously i'm really into banksy and shepherd fairy with obey and they always have some sort of message um and they do it in you know spray paint style or multiple ways but i just wanted to take all of that and throw it together into something i can really be proud of now this first issue kind of introduces you to the world and it's 
it's kind of a turning point for our main character, who's a nobody from the streets of DC named Victor. And his mother, you know, is going through a lot of uh, medical problems. And since he's, you know, nobody from the street, he has to turn to his drug dealing brother, Joe. And he has to do what he can to help her. Now, they're kind of stopped from doing so because the leader, which is our main villain, uh, you know, passes a law kind of destroying everybody's basic human rights. And so this entire world goes into chaos and they can't help their mother the way that they want to. So what Victor does is he goes out and finds, you know, a group of like-minded outcasts. And that is when, you know, everything just hits the fan. And Victor creates this group that this tyrannical government will come to fear. I don't want to give away too much of the entire story, but, uh, you know, there are a lot of different characters being introduced uh, every issue. And some of them are very uh, gifted, if, if you understand. What, yeah, no, you do. But anyway, there is a small risk with this comic, and... All it is really is the backlash because I've already have I've had plenty of it um even before I penciled the third page. So there's an image that I did for page 3. Um here it is. It's just, you know, the main protagonist uppercutting a Nazi. Um and people jumped at that like it's it was i guess it's not confusing because i know how people are that's the reason i'm making this comic but it's dumb and uh the the main risk is you know not risk but challenge is getting this in front of the right people i mean it can get in front of these people too because sometimes you gotta piss a couple people off to make an omelet, you know? Now, this first goal is set at $300. Um, the main goal is much higher than that, but at $300, I can get a decent amount of comics printed out and attend a Comic-Con where I can then uh, sell these and get the word out on this comic book. It's a little more expensive for me, um, but it's it's totally worth it. Now that's all I had to say, so if if you're interested in this uh, and you can contribute, please do, that would be amazing. Um, if you can't contribute uh, with money, just go uh, to Facebook, which should be on the campaign page, um, and just follow it, uh, you know, stay up to date with what's going on with the series, uh, buy one whenever you can. So thank you guys very much, and hopefully you understand uh, what this is all about, and I will be hearing from you soon.